coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Back in September of 2014, Saskatchewan's health minister announced approval for the $12 million integrated health care facility in Leader. Since then, several tenders for construction have been issued, with all bids coming in over budget. The Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan is gathering support from various corporations and individual donors to help furnish and equip the new hospital once it's open. Thanks to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation, the Cypress Regional Hospital has a crucial piece of equipment for the Women's and Children's Unit. Thanks for joining us here today. The Leader Healthcare Project is facing yet another delay. We find out why in today's top story. Back in September of 2014, Saskatchewan's health minister announced approval for the $12 million integrated health care facility in Leader, a project which would expand the Western Senior Citizens' long-term care facility and include acute care, community health services, primary health care and ambulance services. Since then, several tenders for construction have been issued, with all bids coming in over budget. And most recently, the Cypress Health Region has announced that the tender for construction services has been extended for another 45 days, past the original deadline of October the 14th. A move which the Cypress Health Region says is in order to ensure due diligence and that the project in leader remains on budget. The new deadline to finalize the details of the tender for construction is now set for November 29th. A Swift Current couple has made a major donation to the Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan. We find out more in this report. As construction continues on the new $285.2 million Saskatchewan Children's Hospital in Saskatoon, fundraising is also well underway. The Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan is gathering support from various corporations and individual donors to help furnish and equip the new hospital once it's open. The latest major donation comes from Dwayne and Bev Smith of Swift Current in the amount of $500,000, supporting a family playroom in the medicine unit, which will provide infusion therapy for children requiring treatment on an outpatient basis. The Smiths have been dedicated supporters of the Children's Hospital Foundation of Saskatchewan on an ongoing basis, with an initial donation of $100,000 in 2015. There's a funny story with that, and I've got to give my wife credit for that. We were driving one day, and I was teasing her that it's time for me to buy a sports car, you know, midlife crisis and, and everything. And she came up with a better plan and proposed an uh, increased donation to the uh, hospital foundation. So it was very hard to uh, argue against that. And, and so we met with them and discussed different options with them. And when we uh, uh, particularly looked at the family daycare uh, unit uh, in the family medicine area, uh, that really appealed to us, and, and specifically to my wife. I want to give her credit because uh, you know the the young children and especially in times of distress and, and medical concerns and that they really pull on the heartstrings and and so that was really important to to her and as we talked uh, just really became a, a joint effort to uh, do that an act of human kindness which Smith says is something we should all strive to do whether on a large or small scale well, you know, we're fortunate. You, you do any, any traveling and, and, you know, everybody can say you've got your own problems and that, but we live in the best part of the world. We have the best life uh, in, in this whole world. And, um, you know, I think all of us can be very thankful for what we have. And I understand that not everybody can give at the level that uh, we've given, but there's also been a lot of others that have been blessed too that have given a lot more. And uh, so I think it's, um, you know, it, it's fine to be, you know, have some material desires and, and look after your own needs and that. But I, I think everybody deep down can always help somebody else in need. And after selling his ownership in JD Ag Tech following 23 years in the ag industry, Smith credits his clients for giving him the opportunity to give back to society and hopes others in the industry will follow suit as well. Because our success came from the agricultural community, we really want to 
challenge other agricultural producers, uh, ranchers, uh, the commercial ag uh, suppliers throughout the province to uh, step forward with, what, what, with whatever you can and contribute uh, as well. Uh, we know the foundation requires about $20 million more over the next uh, two years, so there's lots more for them to raise to complete the facility to make it what it's really intended. And uh, so anything we can do to help uh, complete that goal, we're uh, really excited and pleased about. Generous donations such as that of Dwayne and Bev Smith are crucial to the day-to-day -day operation of the new Saskatchewan Children's Hospital. An opening date for the 176-bed inpatient facility is set for late 2019. Kids grow up in a hurry. Families grow up in a hurry. People should cherish every moment and every day with the people you love. Specialized equipment is now in place at the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current, following a donation earlier this year from the Sandra Schmirler Foundation. Earlier this year, representatives of the Sandra Schmirler Foundation were in attendance at the Ford World Women's Curling Championship in Swift Current. And thanks to patrons in the stands, the foundation presented a check for $48,300 to the Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation. Funds which were to be allocated to the Women's and Children's Ward at the Cypress Regional Hospital. And now several months later, a new Panda Infant Warmer is in place. We're extremely excited to have um, this new equipment on our floor, this technology. Um, it allows us to provide very efficient quality care, consistent quality care for all of our moms and their newborns. Um, to be able to provide all the necessary treatments in order to um, just provide maintenance, monitoring as far as to resuscitate um, newborns in emergency situations. Schwartz goes on to explain the vital role the updated Panda Infant Warmer plays for newborns and their moms. Simple things like maintaining temperature, we can adjust the percentage of temperature um, to deliver radiant heat to the baby and it'll adjust the amount of heat that it's providing to maintain temperature for the baby. Um, we can um, monitor its oxygen and pulse levels and um, adjust what we need to based on what the machine is telling us. As far as to um, provide um, inner resuscitation, provide pressurized um, delivery of oxygen and, and breathing for a baby in a resuscitation scenario. Um, it allows us to provide consistent breaths with every, with every delivery as opposed to previous methods where we were using a bag um, where our hands were delivering the pressurized amount. This, it's consistent every time each breath is the same, decreasing our risk of pneumothorax and um, damage to the lungs of a, of a delicate newborn's lungs. A vital piece of healthcare equipment for the Cypress Regional Hospital which the Dr. Noble Ehrman Regional Healthcare Foundation was pleased to share in the delivery of. Yes, this is a perfect example of, of our function, quite frankly. It's a, it, we serve as a conduit from the donor to the, to the system, I guess, the healthcare system. And when the uh, Schmirler Foundation uh, approached us uh, as part of the World Curling last spring, they had indicated that they'd be willing to leave some money in our community, and, and it was up to us, I guess, to simply find the project. And, uh, uh, you know, we just sort of funnel the money through to the need and it worked out great. The Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current has a Panda Infant Warmer in each of its delivery rooms and nursery on the Women's and Children's Ward. Yes. This is a, a great example of the health uh, region, the Cypress Health region and the Ministry of Health working to put the patient first. Well this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at southwesttvnews.com. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.